72 Coupe de Ville time, guys. We have a window adjustment issue on the passenger side. Let me show All you. Right, so here we are on the driver's side. You can see how the weather strip, see how it's sitting. Very nice. The weather strip's in excellent condition, by the way. Sitting good. The glass is back to the quarter window for the most part. I mean, it's a little forward here, but it's okay. That's acceptable. Um, let me take you over to the passenger side, show you what we got. All right, here we are on the passenger side. You can see up here at the front, the glass is extremely tight to the weather strip, way tighter than on the driver's side. And then you get up here to the top where it meets the roof and it's binding and pushing in. If you take a look, the weather strip itself is fine. The problem is when you roll the window up because the glass is so far forward and this quarter window, it's not too far back. We've checked it in relation to the other side. So when you roll this up and down, it binds on this weather strip here, on the edge of the quarter window, and it'll actually rip it out. Um, we were at Cars and Coffee a few weeks ago, and I was actually talking to the owner, Steve, and he showed me this, and well, that's why the car's here now. It actually popped out at Cars and Coffee, so we took care of it, popped it back in there, um, went up and down, and we saw exactly what it did. So we will be digging into this, adjusting this glass back, and adjusting this glass down up here at the top. So we're going to get the door panel apart and dig in. Here is the inside of the 72. This door panel, we're gonna come in and we're gonna undo all of our screws all around. There's just screws and tabs and we'll undo the switches and we'll get this panel off and we can start adjusting this glass. I took this screw out first just because gotta work my way down and around. Um, took out this screw here. Next step, we're gonna pull the door lock, window switch, ashtray panel out. I've already pulled the actual ashtray itself. As you can see back in the day, someone uh, was smoking a Pall Mall or whatever. So pull that, and pull this, and then we'll lift this baby up and out. Just like so. We need to disconnect all of our electrical connectors under here. Luckily the door lock one self-disconnected. But get this connector out and this one out. And then uh, we'll continue. Important item to remove, of course. Door lock knob. Just unthread it pretty basic but you'd be amazed there are five perimeter screws in the door panel that one's hiding see him hiding in there I see you four and five pull those out gonna undo these two here around the door handle bezel and we will go from there. All right, so next step is undoing these bezels from over the door pull strap. Um, you start on the inside and work your way out, and then they have this little pin right here. And you work your way back with a, uh, a flathead or something, something a little more gentle. And then you work it out with this pin. Um, this one was good. The other one, where'd I put it? Um, anyway, the other one, the pin was already 
busted off. So when I just started here to get it, it just fell right out. So I'm gonna try to locate a replacement so we have a good pin when we put this back together. But next step is gonna be taking these screws out, undo the strap, which will undo the panel. And then we just gotta work our way around and lift her off. All right, also remember these door panels, they are two piece and behind the pull strap are these little metal brackets. Remember that the threaded hole goes to the outside. The larger hole goes towards the inside because through the larger hole goes the screw that secures it entirely to the door. So when you get ready to pull these up, these are gonna come out. So make sure you catch them, make sure you don't lose them down on the door so you don't have to go play Go Fish. And then get ready to take the top part of your panel off. Definitely easier with the window down to get the top part of the door panel off. But as you can see, I already got it loose and unscrewed. It just comes up and right off. There she be. Trick. Now once your upper panel is off, you just need to take, there's usually three screws. This one's missing one. But you gotta take these screws out here, here, and there's one here. We'll get one and put back in there when we reassemble. And then pull up and out and away we go. Yes, I have the switch hooked back up real quick so I can get the window down when I did the top. All right, screws are out. And before I can even pick it up, pick up the camera to shoot this, it just kind of flopped itself out. So we just need to undo the wires here on the lights. And we're going to need to get new plastic tabbies as well. They've been broken in the past. But that's normal. Not broken out of here, just cracked on their own. So we'll get these, maybe even fix these and thread them back in. Away we go. Light disconnect, then down the old road. This guy right here. Click, done. All right, so like we said earlier, this glass, it's funny, I can actually feel the blower motors on. I can actually feel air coming out because we're not sealing at all here. So this glass needs to come back, maybe just about half inch or so, not even. I mean, finger width or less. So it doesn't just grab the edge of this and rip it out. So we're gonna get started on that right now. So the actual hardware that locates the glass is right here, as you can see. I'm trying to steady the camera up. Um, there is a little bit of play left. It looks like they're all the way back already, but they're not as the glass is a little bit slotted as well. So I'm gonna loosen these up. There's one here and one here. Loosen those babies up and try to get our glass back just a little bit. And that'll help Steve keep his weather strip, help seal up his car a little bit better, make his Cadillac more Cadillac. All right, loosened up the two upper adjusters that you saw. Now the stops right here also have adjustments as well as there are four studs on the glass. So I need to loosen this one up. And there's one back in here hiding. You loosen that up. And then I can slide our glass back a little bit, tighten them up and test it out. All right, I've slid the glass back a little bit. And of course you can rock it a little fore and aft. So you just gotta kinda give it a little wiggle, get it where you want it. But I wanna get it as back as far as possible, just to see where we're at basically. And we'll go from there. All right, I had to fire the car up because it wasn't enough voltage, but glass goes down. Glass goes up. 
doesn't rip the weather strip off. Let's try the back window. Glass goes down. And we're losing the weather strip again. All right, went in, made another adjustment. As you can see, we're nice and fairly square here now. We're a lot tighter and a lot more similar to the other side. We'll uh, add in some pictures here to show you similarities. As you can see, the passenger side isn't as tight as the driver's side here. I might end up adjusting the quarter window on the passenger side forward. But let's see what we got going for now. All right, window went down. Window comes up. Window goes down. Window comes up. Slowly, but up. Rear quarter window is now getting stuck. I think I need to move that quarter window forward, but we will address that next time.